Hey everyone, today I have a quick video editing tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to add background music to your videos for free using CapCut for Windows. It's super easy to do, so let's dive into it. All right, so here we are on my Windows desktop. If you don't have CapCut video editor already, you can find it at capcut.com. There's a download for Windows option here. You will need to make sure you log in or create an account. You can do that with Gmail, Facebook, or with your email address. Now the audio clip we're gonna be using today is from the audio library in YouTube Studio, so it's royalty free to use on YouTube. That's what we're gonna be using for our background music. I've got that audio clip right here on my desktop, as well as the video clip that we're gonna be adding music to the background of. This is just some waves crashing on the beach in Cabo that I filmed recently. So that's what we're gonna be using today. You can go ahead and load up CapCut on your computer. I've got a desktop icon here. And once you've got it loaded up, it's gonna look something like this. You'll see here in the top left-hand corner, I'm logged in. You need to make sure you are logged in, again, for this to export properly. You can see all of the projects you've worked on recently. And the cool thing about this program is it auto saves for you as well. So you don't need to worry about saving. And right here it says start creating. That's what we're looking for to start our project today. So you can go ahead and left click on that and it's gonna load up CapCut for you. Now from here we need to import our video and our audio into our project. So up here you'll see it says media, make sure that is selected. And you should see it says import right here. You can left click on that and search for your video and audio clips and select them and just hit the import button. The other way to do it, the way I like to do it is actually to drag and drop them in. So I've got them here on my desktop. I can left click on it, hold down the mouse button, drag it over and drop it in there just like that. So we've got both our video and our audio clips here in CapCut. Now from here we need to move our video and audio files down into our timeline down below. So make sure you start with your video file. We need that to be in our first layer. So go ahead and hover over it and you'll see there's a little plus sign here. You can left click on that or you can drag your video down by holding down the mouse button and dropping it in our timeline like that. Now once it's in your timeline, you can hit the play button and watch the playback of your video and you can pause it there as well. And then we need to take our audio file, let's grab that and bring it down as well. And you can move it back and forth. If you don't want it to start right away, you don't have to, you can move it back and forth. We're gonna put it right at the beginning and then we'll add some fades to this as well in a little bit. So let's go ahead and now if I hit play, it should be the audio in the background with the video as well. So let's go ahead and trim our audio clip so it's the same length as our video clip. Now, in order to do that, just select your audio clip and you can go to the beginning if you wanna take off some of the beginning. And if you hover over it, you'll see a little black line with some arrows and you can hold down your mouse button and trim it in and out. I'm gonna leave the beginning, so I'm gonna leave that there. But if you wanna take off the end, go to the end and hold down the mouse button and then you can drag that in. And we'll add a fade at the end as well in just a minute. So now our audio clip is the same as our video clip in length. So let's go ahead and add a fade and adjust the volumes on these clips. So we'll start out with the background music. We'll left click on that. And once you've left clicked on that, you'll see up here in the top right hand corner, make sure basic is selected. You can adjust the volume of that clip right here. So right now it's set to zero decibels. I find background music might be better if we go down to about, let's try minus 16 on that. Um, and we can also add fades here. So if we wanna fade in the audio at the beginning, we can add a fade and you can adjust how long that is here. So that'd be one second. I'm gonna not put a fade at the beginning, but I wanna put one at the end. So let's add a one second fade at the end so we can move the slider over just like that. So now we've got minus 16 decibels, no fade at the beginning and a fade out at the end. Now let's adjust the volume on the original video as well. So go ahead and left click on your video. If you fully wanna mute the audio in that video, there's a little speaker icon here on the left hand side. You can just left click on that. That's gonna fully mute the whole track so your waves won't come through. I'm gonna leave that on. We're just gonna lower it. So left click on that. And up here in the top right hand corner, 
Um, because it's the video, there are some tabs. So if video is selected, make sure you select audio here at the top. And here you can adjust the volumes as well. So um, you can adjust the volume of the waves right here. Let's go maybe make the waves minus, I don't know, minus 10 or so roughly. Minus 10.1 is good. And let's fade that out at the end as well. So we'll add a one second fade to that as well. So now we, you can see there's little fades at the end of our audio clips right here. Let's go ahead and play that and see how it sounds. Perfect, so we've got our background music in there and we've got our wave volume lowered. Now it's time to go ahead and export our video. So up here in the top right hand corner, you'll see it says export, go ahead and left click on that and an export window is gonna come up. And the first thing we need to do before we export our video is title our work. So right here, you can name it whatever you like. I'm gonna just call it Waves. And we can select where we'd like to export it to right here. So just click on the folder and you can find wherever you'd like it. I'm gonna put that on my desktop. We'll hit select. And then we can select our export resolution right here. I know this is 1080p video, I'm gonna select that. It goes all the way from 480p to 4K, if you're using 4K. The bit rate, I like to leave that one on higher. It just gives a crispier finish to your video, but it does take up more space. So let's go ahead and leave that on higher. H.264 is what I like for the codec, and I like to use MP4 here. And we can also select a frame rate, so from 24, all the way up to 60. I'm gonna leave this one on 30. That would probably be your most common. 24 would be more of a cinematic look. Now we're just gonna go ahead and hit export here. And the length of time it takes to export will depend on how long your video is, how fast your computer is, and how much is going on there. So mine is already done. If you have a slower computer, that might take a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and find that video. I'll just hit okay here and minimize CapCut and it's right here on my desktop. Let's go ahead and give it a quick watch. And that sounds awesome, just how I want it. And I've now added the background music to my video clip. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you add background music to your video clip for free using CapCut. If this video did help you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.